Hi students, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an interactive poster or anchor chart. So for this project I am going to pick a animal to discuss and actually it's going to be a frog. So we're going to go over to our elements and in our search box you can say frog PNG. The PNG represents the photo network graphic, which means it will have a clear background. And so I can choose photos, and here are some examples of frogs without the background. In my case, I've uploaded one from the internet, and I have my main star here. I'm just going to put them in the middle. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this uh, poster, interactive poster. I'm going to go to text and subheading and just make the subheading a little bit bigger to make my title. And if you're not clear on how to um, center this, you can always go to the position button here and center, and it'll do it for you. So I'm just going to type anatomy of a frog. And I'm going to change the settings, which I want this to be white lettering. And I like the font, but if you don't like the font yourself, you can always change it on the side with the different font styles. But I want this one and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and more bold so that you can easily see it from far away. My next step is I'm going to add arrows. So back to elements, I'm going to select arrows, and type arrows in the box and select graphics and you have a wide variety of graphics to choose. So this is the squiggly line I've chosen and I'm just going to add them in placement of where I want the content to be focused on. And so what I'm doing now is I'm copying and pasting by control C copy and control V paste. Okay, so I have picked all the little parts that I want to talk about. And next I'm going back to the subheading text. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start labeling my frog parts. And again, I want this to be C and I'm going to bold it and keep the same kind of lettering. And so I'm just going to use this little arrow button and move it around. Let's change the lettering to something a little bit more, there we go, darker. I'm going to copy this and paste it. And just label my parts now. Now that I'm done with labeling my poster, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the title down here to Frog. And I'm going to zoom in by clicking the control button and using the scroll on the mouse. All right, so I got all my um, 
vocabulary correct, my grammar. Now I'm going to do the last part, and scroll out just a little bit, which is to add all these new words for my poster to be uh, linked so that when they're clicked, the students can actually see what each word means. So I'm going to open up a new tab and go to dictionary.com and I'm going to take these words and I'm going to plug them in and once the dictionary um, captures the word I'm going to take the top URL and I'm going to copy it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the word click these three dots and I'm going to select link and what I'm going to do is I'm going to control V paste the link in there and select done and what it's going to do it's going to have the word underlining meaning that it is um, linked to the, a certain website and so I'm going to do that with all of these so the last one, I don't want to um, add a link because it's really given what hind legs and front legs are. And now I am done with my poster. I just want to make some several adjustments, kind of moving things around. So now that I have my poster done, I'm going to upload this or share it here at the button and I'm going to download this as a PDF print. I'm going to save it. And upon opening it, it should be able to create the poster and you are able to click on the words the keywords and they should pop up and tell you exactly what they are from the dictionary thank you for learning how to make an interactive poster or anchor chart